In part two of the designing a drone tutorial, the objective is going to be to design the flight controller holder and complete the drone frame. Some of the skills we're going to learn is how to utilize the cut and shell functions, use the features of the extrude function to simplify design, and to convert the design into an STL file for 3D printing. So we'll pick up where we left off in part one and we'll finish the drone. Let's start by going to the browser window and under bodies, we'll turn off all the bodies so we can look at the underlying sketches. So we'll click on the light bulb and also let's go to the view cube and click on the top view. So let's start designing a rectangle for the motor controller holder. Let's go to sketch, rectangle, center rectangle, and we're gonna create a sketch on this uh, face over here. So let's click on that and go to the center point and we're going to create a rectangle that's 29.5 but that's 29 excuse me by 20.5. Um, so let's set the dimension the vertical dimension is going to be 29. We'll hit tab and the uh, horizontal dimension is going to be 20.5 tab and let's hit enter. Now let's turn on, let's stop the sketch first and let's turn on the body that we turned off. And what we're going to do is we're going to create an extrusion of the rectangle that we created. So let's click on the rectangle, um, hit the hotkey E or go to create extrude and we're going to extrude this rectangle three millimeters. All the other settings look okay. Um, let's type in three and we'll hit, um, actually instead of operation, we don't want it to be a cut, we want it to be a join. So let's change operation to join and we'll hit okay. So now we have the underlying platform to mount the controller on. So now let's go to create. Actually, let's go to modify. We're gonna go to shell and we're gonna click on our top surface. And what we're gonna do is make a hole inside of the rectangle so we're not using as much material. So for the shell, for the inside thickness, we're gonna make it two millimeters. So we'll type in two, let's hit okay. And then let's turn this into a hole as well. So we're gonna click on this, go to create extrude and we're going to extrude downwards this time so let's click on the arrow and drag down and you'll see that it turns red because now our operation is a cut so that looks okay um we're going to click on okay so now we have this hole here now let's create some tabs to hold the motor controller of the drone in place let's go to sketch create sketch and we're going to create sketch on this top face of the drone right here. Let's go to sketch, rectangle, center rectangle, and we'll create a rectangle using this inside point. So this rectangle is going to be eight millimeters by eight millimeters. So we'll type in eight, hit tab, eight, hit tab again, and then hit enter. Let's choose the line tool and let's just outline the outside profile of this shape. So we'll select this and we'll just follow the line around and click on all the corners. So we have a shape, kind of a Tetris-like shape to extrude. And we'll finish here. Um, let's select stop sketch and we should be able to extrude the shape now. So let's select this part, hit shift, and then select the other parts. Yep, that's what we wanted. So now let's extrude this. Let's go to create, extrude. And this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a two-sided extrude. So for this options, for directions, let's go to two sides and we get a couple more options in this window here. So for side one, which is up, we're gonna go to distance and we're gonna select, let's try three millimeters. That looks okay. 
for side two, we're going to change the extent feature from distance. We're going to actually select to object. And what that does is it extends your extrusion to a certain object. And if you change the size of the object, it's going to change everything else relative to it. So from extent to object, let's rotate to the bottom of the drone. And we're going to use as our object the bottom face of the drone. So let's click on that. And you're going to see a warning. Let's um, ignore that for now. For chain faces option, let's select extend faces. And finally, under operation, we don't want this to be a cut. We actually want this to be a new body. So let's select that option and hit OK. Let's examine this and that looks good. So now let's mirror this over the other three sides so we don't have to recreate the same workflow over. So let's go to create, mirror, objects is going to be this tab here. The mirror plane is going to be this plane over here. And let's hit OK. And now let's do the same thing to mirror it over the x-axis. So let's go to create, mirror, objects. This time we're going to select both of our tabs. Our mirror plane is going to be this plane here. And then let's hit OK. So now we have a holder for our motor controller, which looks pretty good. The last thing I want to do with this drone design is to create some arcs on the motor holders to give these arms a little bit more structural integrity to make it harder for it to break in the event of a crash or anything else. So let's go to Sketch. Let's go to Arc, Three Point Arc. And we're going to create a sketch on the bottom plane. Let's select the intersection of this rectangle and the motor. You can see the X and the triangle. Um, so let's click and let's do the same thing down here. And now we can uh, control the radius of our arc. Um, we're just gonna eyeball this one here. I'm gonna go to about where the 25 mark is, click there, and then let's uh, Offset this line. Let's go to Sketch, Offset. Let's select this line, and we're going to choose 2 millimeters. Hit OK. And now let's extrude this. So let's um, stop our sketch. Let's select this line. Actually, let's uh, first turn off this bottom plane to make it easier to select. So we're going to select select that, go to create, extrude, and we're going to extrude this three millimeters. And let's change the operation to new body. This will make it easier to mirror what we just did to the other sides. And we'll hit OK. Now let's mirror this. So let's go to create, let's go to create. Um, let's go to mirror, we'll select this. The mirror plane is going to be this plane here. We'll hit OK. And let's do this one more time. Actually, let's try a different strategy. Let's go to Create. Let's go to Pattern. Let's go to Circular Pattern. Um, for objects, we're going to select that object that we, the arc that we built. Um, for axes, let's select the green axis. And then for quantity, let's select four. So that's going to mirror everything without having to do multiple steps or getting creative about how we do the mirroring over. But in any case, let's hit OK. And you'll see that our drone now has some arcs to give it some rigidity. Now let's save this design as a 3D, as a STL file, so we can 3D print this and see what it looks like. So let's go to Make, and we're going to select 3D Print. And we can either send it to a 3D Print utility if we have Cura or any other slicing utility installed, or we can just save it as an STL file. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. Let's select, I'm going to double click until this whole design turns uh, light blue, 
and we'll hit OK. And I'm going to save this one to my desktop. And I'll just call it something like micro quad frame. Hit save. And now it, you should be able to see a desktop file where you can uh, 3D print it and slice it. Or if you have Cura installed, you can go to make 3D print. And I'm going to put a check mark under send to 3D print utility. Um, I'll double click on the design and I'll hit OK. And it's going to take a little bit of time for Cura to load up. And I'll just quickly show you here what it looks like on the print bed. So this is uh, my de default printer is set as an Ultimaker 2. So this is kind of what the drone is going to look like on the print bed. Obviously, it's not going to print in this orientation. So we're just going to clean it up a little bit. Go to uh, rotate. And I usually rotate it so it's um, something like that. So now I can 3D print and see what happens. And here's what our final design looks like. I'll put the link to the 3D printed file on Thingiverse uh, below so you'll be able to find it there. Thanks for watching.